everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Terraria Master Mode. I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Thank you so much once again for all of the support you guys have been sharing this series. I truly appreciate it. Last episode, we reached something like 6,500 likes at the time of me uh, recording this video, which is absolutely bonkers. So thank you guys so much for that. If we can keep it up with that kind of support. That would be absolutely beautiful. Now, today's goal, my friends, is health and houses. That is right. Nice little bit of alliteration right there. Health and houses. That's the goal. So we're going to be going underground in search of heart crystals. We're going to be hopefully making a bunch of NPC houses as well. Because I want to get a whole bunch of dudes going on. Yeah, I want myself a whole bunch of NPCs. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, NPCs... They're kind of epic in this game. You could buy all manner of things from them. I wanted to get myself a whole bunch of snow because that... Oh, crud. I don't mean to do that. Because I can make myself a whole bunch of snowballs here. Right? We put them in the ammo slot here. And ladies and gentlemen, we have 10 plus 8 damage. So, 18 range damage, right? So, boop, 19 damage. Very nice. 16. See? It's pretty decent, isn't it? It's pretty decent. A very, very good weapon, if I do say so myself. So, uh, what is going to be the best way to get heart crystals? I honestly think that maybe going into the underground desert might be the way to go, right? We also need to make ourselves a bed, don't we? Yeah, there's a lot of things we need to do, my friends. Oh, yes, there is. Ooh, a nice storage room would also be kind of nice. But there's the reaver shark. We don't need it anymore because it's just... It's not that good anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to capture these worms. Yeah. All right. Well, it's a good thing it's uh, raining because, yeah, worms come out a lot more often uh, when it's raining. And that is epic because it means we could get ourselves a whole bunch of bait. And now that we've already got maximum mana, 200, uh, we can just continuously combine them with fallen stars to get ourselves some pretty decent bait here. And ladies and gentlemen, here we are, underground desert. We've still got to be careful of these tiny little antlion baby dude things. Oh god, there's- oh god. I- oh god, I just hatched an army! Oh boy, get- get out of it, 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 get out of it. Thank you very- oh god. Oh god, whoa. Hey, that- Wow. You suck! Man, these- uh, these little cactus bomb things, they're kind of nasty, man. They are kind of nasty. And your stupid family of antline buttheads. You wanna go, do you? You wanna freaking go, do you? Oh! 85 damage. Wow. I, uh... <laughs> I'm really not doing a very good job of, uh, you know, looking after the amount of health I've got, huh? Or more to the point, looking at the amount of health I've got. Mate, I gotta be honest with you, I am loving this underground desert music. I think this is the longest I've actually heard it. <laughs> oh god, these guys. Will you please go away? There's an underground house down there, and I want to be able to get to it without dying horrifically. Get out of here. There we go. Got to be careful. That little la- Oh, the little lava dude could probably hatch at any point. Well, if I accidentally hit it, that is. Ooh. What is that? Uluru? That's interesting. All right, guys, check it out. We've got ourselves an extractinator and a, a bast statue. What? Increases defense by five when placed nearby? Yo! Dude, that's epic. I didn't even know those existed, bro. Oh, God. Yep, there we go. I hatched it. Oh, God. What a bunch of jerks. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, he died. Lol. <laughs> go bye-bye, Slimo. Oh, not quite. There you go. Now you're gone. All right, Coolio. Right, what have we got down here? A whole bunch more iron. Beautiful. All right. Oh, God. I hate these guys. They do, like, freaking 80-plus damage. I don't like them at all. They give me nightmares. You son of a guns. All right, let's get out of here, shall we? Uh, I did see that there was like another a whole bunch of stuff up here. Which I kind of want to check out real quick. Ooh. Yeah, baby. There's lots of stuff going on. Plenty of lava. Oh, I've got to be careful of those little uh, antlion larvae. They're kind of nasty. Oh, God. All right. More iron. Oh, my God. There's just ores everywhere, bro. So, uh, here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. Uh, strictly speaking, this is Terraria 1.4.0.4. So, basically, there's been, like, a whole bunch of uh, bug fix updates and balance updates. Now, one of the things they've done, guys, is they have totally 
nerfed uh, meteorites, okay? So you can't just go ahead and make the skip all the way up to meteorite armor anymore. Meteorites won't spawn until you've defeated either the Eater of Worlds or the Brain of Cthulhu. That is fact. <laughs> It's uh, it's kind of interesting. I kind of like the fact they've done that because honestly, it was kind of overpowered. And yeah, it's really, really good that they've actually thought about that and, uh, you know, amended it. Uh, because now it means we need to actually go mining to get, you know, pre-meteorite stuff. You know what I'm saying? So there is actually a bit of a grind involved now. Oh, God. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Psych. <laughs> I'm smarter than you, sucker. Ah, that's interesting. Just had a thought. Uh, do these little larvae things, do they respawn? Like, does that mean we have a renewable source of outline mandibles? Is that a thing? Let me know in the comments area below. I genuinely don't know the answer to that one. Uh, but yeah, anyways, let's continue on. More blowy uppy stuff. Oh! My goodness. Oh, I scared the heck out of me, bro. Oh, wait. Oh, this guy's just got a bit of a pounding from that little uh, cacti boulder thing. <laughs> Soccer. All right. Oh, there's another house over here. Yeah, baby. Oh, some more amber. Oh, amber naturally generates properly now. You did. Oh god. Oh. Oh, he's dead. Huh, that was easy. All right, let's just pop ourselves. Oh my god, what is that? Burning spirit. Oh, and there's a heart crystal, ladies and gents. All right. Oh, we've got Dune Rider boots, ladies and gentlemen. That is amazing. Check this out. So I've got this in my normal Let's Play series already, but uh, this one's better because it's got armored on it, which means three plus defense. Uh, the wearer can run fast and even faster on sand. So I'm going to put it on here. Oh, that's warding though. Ooh. Climbing claws. You can come off. I mean, any defense is good defense. I'm going to take it. And not complain, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, how much have we got now? Uh, 160 health. I mean, it just isn't enough. In master mode, it just isn't enough. Like, it's crazy. Like, the mobs do insane damage in this mode. We're going to need ourselves probably absolute maximum health in order to even take down the Eye of Cthulhu, for example. Also, is that a bookshelf? Yeah, it is. Sandstone bookcase. Nice. Love that. A little bit more amber. Oh god, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to get pwned. How much amber do we have right about now? Ten. We get fifteen. We can make ourselves an amber uh, grappling hook. Ooh, the traveling merchant. Uh, I can't pass up a traveling merchant, guys. You never know. They, they might have something new. Like in my Terraria Master Mode reveal stream thingy, I got a Zappinator out of that guy. If I could get another one of those then that would be absolutely freaking insane. Like, it truly would be. Right, anyways, uh, how much uh, fossil do we have? Oh, I'll tell you what, let's go for 300. That seems like a, a nice round amount, huh? So now we've got the extractinator. Let's get you placed down. And let's see what we get. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, baby. Oh, such a good way to get money as well. Yep, there's a little bit of amber. It's a good way to get the alternate ores that you don't have in your world as well, for those of you guys unaware. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I guess we're just going to keep going here and we'll try and figure out how many sturdy fossils we need in order to make ourselves a full fossil armor, I guess. Holy crappers. We just got like 20 gold coins. What? That is insane. Wow. Okay. Uh, well, let's go ahead and stack those away before I wind up, you know, foolishly losing them because let's be frank, that's probably what's going to happen. Let's put that up in there. Yeah, look at that. It's a perfect fit as well. <laughs> Alright guys, so we've got plenty of resources going on here. Check this out guys. This is the fossil set of armor and this is the bonus it has nowadays. 3% increased range critical strike chance, whereas back in the day it would give you more throwing damage. But now that the throwing class has been, uh, you know, removed... Yeah, this has been totally overhauled. So, we've got 31 sturdy fossils, we need 20... Uh, 45, we need a grand total of 60 sturdy fossils in order to make this thing. Uh-huh. And then we've got the amber staff here. I mean, to be honest, I don't really see a need to make an amber staff if we're going to hopefully be getting ourselves a whole bunch more ranged damage, right? You know, 22. And then when you consider the uh, crit chance that we're going to have on this thing, you know, there's always the chance of this doing more damage. 
Aha. Uh -huh. So, Fossil Pickaxe, that's brand new, I'm pretty sure. Amber Hook, that's pretty awesome. Uh, what else do we have here? A Platinum Bow, already got that. Uh, for now, we could finish off our set of Iron Armor. So, let's go and grab that. And there we go. 30 defense. Wow. Okay, so set bonus is 2 defense, like a flat amount, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and then, um, oh, some lead bars as well. Oh my gosh, we've got so many bars. Amazing. All right. Heavy workbench. Might be worth making that. You never know. You never know. I'm going to go ahead and chuck this uh, somewhere uh, up here. There we go. Why not? Is there anything I can make right now? A tall gate. Uh-huh. All right. I mean, there's lots of stuff going on, isn't there? It really is. I like it. Do I have the ability to make a bed? Okay, I've got 40 cobweb. Uh, so, actually, yeah, we should. We should have the ability to make a bed. So, we need some chains. And then we basically just sort of go from there. Uh, where are we at? There we go. There's a sawmill. Let's pop up here real quick. Then it's going to be the loom. Okay. Oh, man. We need ourselves some more bases, huh? And five of these bad boys. There we go. And fancy picnic table. Ooh, cool. It's epic stuff. And a bed. There it is. All right, Coolio. Uh, the only thing is, we don't really have any places to uh, put the bed. I mean, well, actually, I could put it in here, I think. Because I think it's a, a comfort item you need. Yeah, so a bed is counted as a comfort item. Same as a chair. So you can use it in place of a chair. As long as you still have a surface as well, you're pretty much good. So there we go. Spot point set. Fantastic. Oh, would you look at that? We got a picnic bench, guys. <laughs> oh, dude, that's awesome. I like that. I like it a lot, my dudes. I like it a lot. All right. Oh, my God. There's so many. Oh, an apple. Hey, thanks for that. Appreciate it. All right. Well, there we go. We've got quite a lot of uh, crafting stations going on here now, which I guess is kind of cool. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. Well, I guess it's back to the caves. We've got some more stuff to do. I wouldn't need 60 of these things. So... Eh, basic calculation, we've got uh, 300, uh, uh, you know, fossil block thingies. So if we get another 300, I guess we should wind up with another 30 of these. Hopefully. Can't go back to the caves without some sort of juice or food. Yeah, looks pretty good, doesn't it? All right, guys, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these things, and we're going back down into the caves. Uh, oh, well... I would have uh, gone ahead and bought some torches, but uh, the dude isn't here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get him in here. Buy some torches and then get back down. Yes. I want more health, man. Oh, yeah. And I've got enough for this now. A forest pylon. Epic. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and place it right here. Ooh. Ah! Okay, that's epic. That is epic. Okay, I can't wait to experience or, uh, you know, experiment more with these things. These are going to be so freaking amazing. You can get an ocean pylon. I did do some research on the types of pylons you can get. And yeah, the ocean one is one that you can get. So we're going to need to go ahead and get ourselves a happy NPC over at the ocean. And then we'll be good. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, I mean, at least it got the ant line as well. So I can't be too mad about it. Oh, God. Oh, God, the poor golfer NPC's, like, nearly dead. Hang on a minute. Huh. Okay, I'll save you, sir. I'll save you. Uh, oh, God. Uh, uh. Okay. Ah! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Either him or me, we're going to die. Oh, God. Stop, 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 stop. I don't want a golfer to die, man. Leave him alone. You bunch of poo-poos. Well, I'm going to go and get rid of you two as well. Come on. I like how he's just completely nonchalant, like, oh, hey, there's nothing going on. There's not a small-scale war going on between me and the freaking ant lions. And he's dead. <laughs> no! Oh, no! Can we get an F in chat for the golfer? Oh, no. Oh, poor son of a gun. I'm pretty sure he's been killed multiple times while I've been in this world as well. Uh-huh. Oh, he's back! The golf was back. Thank you for the rescue. If I were trapped out here any longer, I could have come down with heat stroke. Ooh. Ooh, lawnmower. That sounds like a cool idea. Anything to reduce enemies. That's great. All right. Golf cup. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Dudes. Are we, are, are we, are we about to make ourselves a golf course? 
in one of the Let's Plays. I mean, if I was going to do it, it would probably be in Python Plays Terraria because that's the Let's Play where we pretty much do anything and everything. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Let me know. I'll tell you what. Poll on screen. Poll on screen. Do you guys think we should go ahead and make ourselves one of those uh, golf course thingies? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're just for fun. I don't actually think there's uh, any real proper progression related reason to do it, right? Ow! Son of a gun. Well, apparently the sand doesn't seem to be so keen on the idea of me not doing a golf course. Jeez. <laughs> oh! oh, son of a gun. Okay, okay. You do, yeah. Oh, more scarab bombs. Nice. I do like me some scarab bombs. I won't lie. They're pretty epic. I'm a big, big fan of them. I think we need to go ahead and try and see if we can buy them from somewhere. Because if we can, then that's going to be the way for us to get ourselves a elevator going. Super quick, right? I think that'd be fantastic. All right. Well, for now. Oh, God damn it. Get out of this, sucker. All right, I tell you what. Should we go for a 200 health goal, my friends? Seems to be sort of, uh, you know, slow pickings at the minute. So, yeah, maybe 200 health would be a nice little goal for us to go for, as well as the uh, the fossil armor. Oh, well, the golfer sure had a long and prosperous life, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, no. Once again, F's in chat for the golfer. He's having a really bad day today, isn't he? <laughs> oh, God, no! No, 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 no! No, get out! <laughs> oh, oh my god. I just, ooh, ancient chisel increases mining speed by 25%. Ancient problems require ancient solutions. Ah, I like the meme. I like it. I like it. All right. So that's a pretty good accessory right there. Like within itself. Man. Okay. Uh, you know that whole 200 health thing that I keep going on about? Yeah, I'm kind of feeling that... Uh, I'm kind of feeling that I'm done here. <laughs> I don't want to keep dying, bro. Oh, dear. All right. So, uh, the wandering trader, whatever the hell you want to call him, uh, he is back. And we are going to see what he's got in just a hot second here. For now, though, I want to go ahead and do a whole bunch of stuff. That is right. Lawnmower, you can go away. And let's see what we get this time. Hey, there we go, my friends. 60 sturdy fossils. Anything else at this point is literally just a bonus. Uh, I do know that you can get a pet out of doing this. I also know there is an extremely rare chance of getting a platinum coin. The fact that we got 20 before, that was pretty damn lucky. Uh, all right. Well, yeah, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good little haul, I'd say. All right. So let's pop up here real quick. And ladies and gentlemen, here we go. A grand total of 9% increased crit damage for this bad boy. 17% crit chance now. And also, 20% chance not to consume ammo. So, it's, it's, it's... Oh, my God, there's a pinky. Hang on a minute. Hey, buddy. Yeah, how much health do you have? 450 on master mode, huh? That's cute. You're still gonna die, though. Ah. Well, there's me thinking I might get a slime staff out of that. <laughs> like ever I would. God damn it. All right. Well, you know, pretty decent early uh, range set. So, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not going to complain about that. Who the hell are you? Lizzie? Wow, like I've never seen a full moon. For some reason, it's like I pass out every time someone's around. Guide to critter companionship. Prevents you from hurting critters while in inventory. So you don't even need to equip it. That's amazing. Okay, squirrel hook. Uh, grapple onto trees like a real squirrel. Leather whip. Summon damage. Your summons will focus struck enemies. Ooh. Cat license used to let a cat arrive in town. Uh, yes. All right. Koi kite. Oh, man. Dog ears, dog tail. I mean, oh, wow. That's 22 gold coins. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't have enough now. Crap. All right. Well, let's go and see what the uh, traveling merchant has real quick. What you got there, broski? DPS meter. And, eh. Not really too much else going on. Devil horns. That sounds pretty hilarious. <laughs> All right. Well, today's fishing quest uh, to finish off today's episode is simply to get... Wait, consumable? Oh! The license teleports away to the cat delivery service. Ooh! That's epic. All right. So we need to capture a harpy fish, which apparently they can be caught pretty much anywhere on the surface. You don't necessarily have to go to a sky lake. Ooh, a crate. Nice. I mean, if we manage to get a harpy fish from here, that would be pretty freaking epic. 
Zem the cat has arrived. What? Where's the cat? <gasps> oh my god. Yo, 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 yo. Oh my god, there's a cat. Oh! Oh, I can pet it! Oh, <laughs> that's so adorable! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's that's so freaking adorable. Oh, he's having a little sleep. Oh my god! Zen. That is just adorable. Oh my goodness. All right, well, let's maybe try doing the fishing quest in a different area. There's like a big-ass lake up here. Maybe I'll try it up here. Hey, there we go. Harpy fish. Fantastic. All right, guys, let's get back to base. Hand that bad boy in and see what we get. It's usually like sonar potions or whatever else. Uh, what do you got for me? Yep, sonar potions. Wow, I couldn't have gotten that one more correct, huh? All right, oysters. I wonder if you could get anything other than oysters. Out of those things. Be kind of interesting. Oh, and some bait and a danger sense potion. Uh-huh. All right. Well, I mean, that's better than nothing, isn't it? All right, guys. Well, the other part of this episode was supposed to be us going ahead and making ourselves a house. And one of the things that we need to do is go ahead and check on the bestiary, guys. Why do we need to check on the bestiary? Well, Keshav Sharma, for the comment of the day, says that you can check your bestiary. It tells you where an NPC likes to live. Let's have a look. So the guide prefers the surface, as does the merchant. Uh, the demolitionist prefers underground. This guy prefers the ocean. This guy, or gal, prefers the surface. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, golfer prefers the surface as well, as do you. Uh, you don't really matter that much. Uh, I mean, we could do an underground house. I mean, why not, right? Hmm, where do we want to do it, though? We haven't really explored any actual underground areas. We've only explored, like, underground biomes, like snow and desert. Huh. Okay, what about somewhere else? Maybe we make a house for the golfer? Eh, sounds like a cool idea. All right, let's make ourselves another house, huh? We're going to make ourselves a golfer house. Alrighty, guys. Nice, basic house here. I mean, to be honest, that's probably all we're going to need uh, for this guy. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a little seat action, a door. And then, of course, I think it'd be a nice idea to get ourselves... Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to get ourselves some background noise. Yeah, coolio. All right, let's do this thing. Yeah, there we go. All right, golfer. Uh, golfer, 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 golfer. Oh, we're, okay, so we've got to wait for him to respawn in on the next day. But uh, the fact of the matter is, guys, we got ourselves another dude. What the heck do you think you're doing? I don't quite know how you even spawned around here. But, oh well. Alright, and to finish off, ladies and gents, let's just make this uh, feel a little bit more like it actually belongs here. Just with a couple of fences here and there. I mean, you gotta love a little bit of fencage, right? You know, a little bit of this. Yeah. Feels more like a town, doesn't it, guys? You'd love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Alright, hang on. There we go. Uh, the fence was sort of connecting behind the door, and it was kind of annoying me. So, yeah. All right. Well, maybe a couple more fences over this side, and we shall be done, ladies and gents. There we go. Yeah. Check it out. A little, a little hometown. It's looking quite homely, isn't it? <laughs> I like it. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, as always, a like rating would go a long, long way. It truly would. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out on future content. But for now, guys, thank you very much for watching. Do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.